Uh, Ron Santo. Oh man, beautiful cards. So this guy's got an awesome collection. Um, we met Jay at the uh, card show in Petaluma that we were talking about. I don't, I don't know. Did we talk about we're going to go to the card show on our channel? Already? We did, yeah. Okay. Or maybe not. You did it on your channel. Oh, I did it on my channel. Anyways, he lives locally here. The not, us. the not a card show. Yeah, well, it didn't turn out really to be a card show, <laughs> but uh, we made a new friend, a, a local guy here, you know, where we live, and he came and met us there, and now he's showing off some of his collection. But it's an awesome collection. Check this card out. Quad Relic with... Uh, he's a he's a Kershaw and Venez, uh, Fernando Venezuela uh, and Dodgers collector. With Steve Garvey. Oh, look at that. I mean, just lots of cards like this in his collection. What's that? Oh, numbered 99 or 150, hand numbered. Beautiful patch card. So for all you Dodger fans, Mike Line, I know you'll enjoy this video. He's got a Michael Jordan rookie card. Beautiful card there. Another Venezuela. Oh, there's another Venezuela. Uh, how many one of ones do you have? You have like a nameplate one of one cards, right? Uh, With yeah, all the like letters. A, well, half the letters. Half the letters. Yeah. So and, we'll we'll, sh we'll and show one of that one off. Venezuelas have like twenty different. Ones. Look at that beautiful Fernando Venezuela autograph. Very nice. And. Uh, I guess these are, oh yeah, Magic Johnson. So some basketball cards. I guess Fleer is a brand to go if you're going to collect basketball cards from the uh, 80s. But we don't really know much about basketball cards because we're baseball card junkies. Yeah. <laughs> so what's up, YouTube? Baseball card junkies TV here, Top 85401. Titanic Taters. And we got a special guest, Jay. Plaza. <laughs> <laughs> we're at... We're, we're, uh, we're at his house right now, and we just got back from a card show in Petaluma, California. And I say card show because you we're, could... It we're was using a, that loose term loosely. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they call it. Yeah, it was advertised as a card show, but it wasn't a card show. I think the so, people that were running it had a completely different agenda than selling yeah. baseball cards. So it's kind of funny because like, I was kind of gung-ho about it. Yeah. And, like We did some research last night, and I looked at the guy's Facebook page, and it was like... First baseball, first sports car show in Sonoma County in 20 years or whatever. Which isn't true, because I went to one at the Luther Burbank <coughs> yeah. Center about five years ago. So I was like, oh, this could be like, there could be actual tables there. No. It was a guy, one, one guy selling his collection and like one or two other. Random groups. people. That must yeah. have been like connections of his. Yeah. Um, but the card show turned out to be. <laughs> uh, it turned, uh, Anyway, this uh, supposed card show turned out to be awesome because Eric and I made a new friend, and he actually invited us. So that's Jay. He invited us to his house, and he showed us his wonderful baseball card collection. Yes. Some of it is featured back here, and we're, we're, uh, you'll see more of it. Yeah, on I'm going to put. I'm, now I'm going to put it at the end of this. Oh, okay. So cool. like, the, he can they can see. So stay yeah. tuned to the end. Yeah. We're going to showcase some of. Uh, Jay's collection here, so you can actually really see, yeah, the you know how awesome it is. So. Yeah, but we had a great time, um, and then you know, of course, we went to Taco Bell. We didn't get any footage, but we had good conversation, top cards, and what did we talk about? We talked about the crazy two point eight million dollar mantle. Yes, and the four hundred thousand dollar four hundred thousand dollar Mike Trout. That went to, and, uh, uh, <laughs> and then the ninety nine thousand dollar Derek, Derek Jeter that just sold some just crazy yeah, prices, yeah. huh? Yeah, so it's funny because we were talking about the Derek Jeter on Facebook the other day. Yeah. Because Patrick um, from Radicards posted about it. Yes. And he was say he asked, does anybody think, like, did anybody see this price on this card? I think the overwhelming consensus was no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, but there was one guy that just went off on an anti-Yankee tirade. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, well, like... I guess I'm not super surprised because he's one of the, if not like arguably the most popular players of that era. Oh uh, yeah, he's one of them. Yeah, he was a Yankee. Yes. Plus, it's a he very won, like, what four World Championships. Yeah, I think there's like out of sixteen thousand of those cars that are graded. Only, only like, twenty two or ten. Twenty two or tens. Yeah. Anyway. So technically, it's a rare and it's a hard card to get a good grade yeah. on. Yes. Obviously. Yes. 
Uh, I'm thinking of something else right now. Okay. Think about the show. Oh, perfect. Was meeting you two guys. <laughs> yes. And it was awesome because yeah. when Jay approached me, he's like, thank you guys for your channel. You know, yeah. you make it so when I get home from yeah. work, I, I can relax. I had been fun. on the show in <laughs> 20 years and this wasn't a show show, but uh, I got to meet you guys. That was the best yeah. part. Well, yeah, it was, it was an icebreaker show. Yeah, you know? yeah <laughs> definitely an icebreaker show. Oh, so check this out, guys. Eric and oh, the three of us actually were talking about at the show, the guy that had his collection, you walk up to the table and you say, okay, how much are these cards? Because none of them are priced. And what, what we were told is the guy over there, go talk to the guy over there when you figure out what cards you want and go make him an offer. Okay. And so I told the people at the table, I'm like, these are your cards. You need to let me know what you want for them. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to pick. It was really bizarre. Oh, yeah. So I did pick a cup, two cards out that in my mind were worth 20 bucks. I would pay because, uh, you know, they were, to me it was like $20 worth of cards. I walked up to the guy. I said, listen, these are your cards. I understand you want me to tell you what I'm willing to pay. But I don't work that way. You got to tell me what you want for these cards, because I kind of want to get a feel for what where he wants to go with this. And the guy looks at me and he's mm, yeah, fifty dollars. So right then and there, I was, knew I wasn't going to buy anything from that table because it was just the most bizarre, bizarre, bizarre yeah. negotiating <laughs> tactic I've ever seen. I had I had a similar situation yeah. where he had left the building. I picked out eight cards that. You know, realistically, they were they were do they were dollar bin cards. We went to the LCS after, and I found similar cards in the, the dollar, dollar bin. bin right? <laughs> Which so I got like twenty cards or twenty one cards for ten bucks at the LCS. Yeah. Um, but so so I'm looking. I get my cards, and I'm like, all right. So you know, I have these cards here, and the, the, he had a guy that claimed to have been a collector. Um, kind of watching over the, the area and uh, he goes all right well you know what's what, what are you what's your what's your offer I'm like I mean I was like I'm around 15 on these cards right you know maybe I would have gone up to 20 because um, there was one or two cards in there that were probably in the five dollar range but you know as, us as collectors we want to you know get the lowest price possible <laughs> um, so he calls the guy oh, yeah, who's, this is fun. who's the the chieftain of the operation, and says, all right, this guy here, he's got, like, eight cards, um, and uh, he says, he's, he's got eight Michael Jordan cards, and really it was, like, five Michael Jordan cards, but he's like, he, he and then I hear, he's like, oh, well, there's the question, well, what is the offering on him? And he goes, oh, 15, and then he just looks at me, nope. <laughs> and I was like, and I just, like, went, all right, no problem. Turned around and walked away. Yeah, it was really. And then, like was, literally, we like walked out five yeah. minutes after that. And then the three of us were actually having a conversation about this, and we figured that the people running the show were hoping that collectors that had no idea what cards are worth, if you make the offer to them, they're they are hoping that you would offer five dollars for a twenty cent card. That's, card. That's yeah. the only thing I can think of. So anyway, it was a really interesting, not really very well run show, but overall it was not a disappointment because we had a great time. Yeah. So and I met you guys. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> the best part. Yeah, yeah, we've been hanging out all afternoon. It's been yeah. a great time. Yeah. So looking at baseball cards. Yep. I hope and it's not the last time. <laughs> and, I hope it's not the last time we. Oh yeah, no, we'll hang out yeah. again. Uh, and what's yeah. funny is each of us, like each of us, probably spent more money than what would have been offered at the card at the card show at the LCS. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so, I, I actually, yeah. I literally, this is the first time ever where I walked out, I didn't buy a single card, and I was glad I didn't buy a single card, because there was yeah. nothing there that I wanted. I mean, <laughs> it really, really it, it, it was literally all like... It was exhaust. Exhaust, like, there. I mean, there were some good cards, there were there some were, autographs, and, yeah. but there, most of them were like your... Your filler players, like, yeah, you know, like how Topps Chrome does autographs of everybody. Tim Tuffle, yeah. <laughs> Tim, <laughs> Tim Tuffle, uh, Kevin Maz, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, I mean, I saw one autograph that I thought was cool. It was a Josh Hamilton uh, uh, patch man or whatever it's no. called. Uh, Logo man. Logo man. It was probably a manufacturer though, right? Not. 
No, it was a logo. It was the D from Reds. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, that I was like, I had it in my pile. But then, like, the guy came over and was like, yeah, these are all, like, 5 to $15 cards. Like, right there, I probably just stopped. Should have stopped so that was a manufactured <laughs> patch, not a game use patch. I, I didn't even look at that. I mean, man, a game use letter would be worth a lot more than 5 yeah. to 15 bucks. What, Josh Hamilton? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even Josh like, Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, like, right then, I probably should have stopped looking through that box. Through yeah. that box. Anyway, we, we just <laughs> thought it would be fun to share our experience just because it was a really <laughs> a, a weird experience. So, guys, comment down below. Let us know what you think. And just in case you were wondering, Jay does not have uh, videos up. But if he does start to make videos, look out for his channel because I'm sure he'll want to share his collection once he, if he decides he wants to do this. And uh, you will not be disappointed. Yeah, and then uh, obviously... Don't go away. Stay tuned for the little showcase we have. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to show off some of his collection for you guys. Yeah. All right. So there you have it. And as always, happy collecting. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> wow. like over 100. The same Here one. we are looking at some more Fernando Valenzuela autographs and this is an incredible bunch Fernando. of other stuff. Look at all these down here. Fernando Valenzuela. This one's our number to 40. For, oh, uh, 40. And yeah. you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And this one's had like over 100 of the same one. You got 100 of the uh, Piazza Venezuela? Yeah, Ch Chaco Park. So. Oh, damn. Oh, that's, Ch oh, okay. You can tell I need my yeah. glasses. And on this one's, I have close to 100. 100 of these? Yeah. Wow. You got, yeah. Got another number to 40. Oh, oh, another one. How many of these do you have? Like 10 or so. So you, you got the market corner. Trying to get all 40? I was trying to get all the four. Wow. Printing plate. An incredible collection. And this one's our number to 25. This one. Wow. And this one. It's like gold one. Look at that. Both number to 25. We got, a, we got ourselves a genuine super collector over here. Gold label. Gold label. So it's whenever like those pop up 15. on eBay, you buy it, huh? Uh, not lately, but I tried to buy as many as I could. Because supposedly they only make 281 of this ones. Uh, wow, how many of those? You said 100 like of them? 100 and something. Wow. So there's not very many of them out there to collect. Yeah, they're not. Now not. tell us your story when you were a kid. Uh, what do you remember about Venezuela? Uh, another autograph. What do you remember about Venezuela? I was living another number to 40. God. <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, I was I was born in Santa Rosa. So number 299 and 25. Whoa. Impressive. Man, I have to tip my hat. That is impressive. It, and my parents took me to Mexico in 85 through 89 and back in Mexico, the dice were like the home team. So everyone mm -hmm. was a Valenzuela Dodger fan. So that's that's a but gonna be start liking the Dodgers and Valenzuela. Wow, yeah, you are. Have you ever met Fernando? I uh, know, I haven't had a chance. Yeah, I think he probably uh, shows up at the card shows, I would think, every once in a while. It's a uh, number 10. Wow, look at that. A Jim Mint 10 copy. And more of the same one. Damn, you're, you're not lying when you say you have 100 of those. <laughs> wow. This one's like. Seven years ago, this one used to go around $40. Yeah? Uh, the most I paid for one was $51. For one of those? For one of those. What do they go for nowadays? Uh, they're under 10, around 10. Around 10? Yeah, it went down. How, how many of them did they make? It didn't, it said it, uh, the print run, <laughs> but it wasn't a short print. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's okay. Nate experienced a similar kind of drop with the 85 top yeah. uh, McGuire rookie. Wow. So more. Two more. Wow, that's incredible, dude. A piece of patch. Yeah, that's there. a cool one. Another piece of patch. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> yep, I've seen these. That What they do is they get like a regular card and, and glue it to this. And then put a player patch. That's oh, like an 84 tops card. Is that the, uh, what is it? What's the... These come from like 
probably the retail packs. Yeah. Like the yeah. repack, repack stuff. Yeah, and the bag says from vintage workshop. Yeah, something so like that. So they'll buy you the pieces of jersey from Upper Deck, that's right here. Yeah, okay. And they stick them into yeah. cards. Oh, sweet. Yeah. That's kind of, I got a Bonds like this. So oh, it's nice. kind of interesting. I also have this one. Wow. And this one's I have. Man. So who's your favorite player? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you have any of his oh, rookies? Rookies only have like two or three. I mostly have jersey cards and autographs. Yeah. yeah I know it. Man. Wow. Look at these. One more. Oh, and this. Whoa. Is that a stamp? A stamp. What? You, oh, 82. Fleer stamp. Wow. Well, it's got uh, Warren Fernando Spahn. and Warren Spawn. That's cool. Another two more. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the gold label. I just picked up the titanium uh, bonds of that. Bonds are nice. Damn. Oh, a bunch of... Oh, the sweet well, spot well. autos, huh? Yeah. Wow. Well, there we go, guys. This is a uh, someone that's not afraid to uh, collect more than one of his favorite player. There's a couple more. <laughs> Fascinating collection. So you have a few of those cards, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's an awesome collection. Yeah, man. Think, Great job, man. I think one for every day of the year. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you one go. for every day of the year. There you go. Wow. Impressive. Check this case out, guys. So, Jay was telling us that all of these are one of one nameplates from the back of his jersey. And so, he's got what? There's 10 letters, right, in Venezuela? 10 letters. Yeah, and we got one, two, three, four, five. So, and then you said one of them came from where? Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Where else did the, some of them come from? Uh, from the States. From the States. New York, the, Minnesota. New York, Minnesota, Hong Kong, all over the, all place. Over the place. A bunch of, here's a one of one uh, printing plate, Venezuela. So, this is a super collection of Venezuela cards. Really, really beautiful stuff, man. Yeah, this is one of the best ones. Oh, yeah. I guess you got the silk uh, Kershaw. You should get your Kershaw binder out. Yeah. This guy's got a Topps Gold Kershaw rookie card just sitting in a binder. One like, in the box on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, you got to put that thing in a, a magnetic. <laughs> Here we go. The front page on the Kershaw binder. The gold and the regular. So, and Alan and Ginter. Yeah, just some nice rookie cards there. And then, oh, he's he put some more cards on the floor to show off. So this guy's got an incredible collection. Ruth. We've had a great time. It's fun going to someone's house and checking out collections you haven't seen before. Oh, this card's gorgeous. That's real pretty. Wow. And he, um, if you want, you can show off your set. But the, I guess the Willie Stargell from the Sweet Spot set is... Uh, short printed to 19, and you have all the cards but the Stargell? The Stargell. That's the only one? That one and Ty Cobb. Oh, Ty Cobb and Willie Stargell. But look at these beautiful cards. So, yeah. You could, like, probably... And here's his yeah. binder. Oh, yeah. Like player PCs. Player PCs. Lots of binders. This guy's not a baseball card junkie. Nope, not a baseball card. Not in the at least all. bit. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're having a great time. And, uh, he's showing off his collection. It's just awesome to check it all out. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, here's the, the here's the spot sweet spot set. set. Man, so. <sighs> well, you got. I saw you had like Joe Mickey Dimaggio. Mantle in there. Oh yeah, Joe DiMaggio, Mickey Mantle, Boy Campanella. Ricky Jenkins, Steve Carlton, Phil Vitsuda, Dave Winfield. Man, that's a nice set. Mickey Mantle, Brooks Robinson. So how many cards that's total over. in this set? It's like 95. Oh, and you got 93 of the 95? Yeah. Some are variations with different jerseys, colors. Nice. Don Malley. Willie McCovey. Oh, nice McCovey there. Frank Robinson. Very nice. So when you were trying to put this together, were you trying to put together with all the variations? With the variations, correct. It's, it's, this is a short print of Stan Musial. 
What's that usual short print into? It doesn't say, but it says, yes, it's, it's a short print. Only the starter is the one that they said it was made. Oh, they, they had a stated print run yeah. on the Stargill. Yellow Perry. Drysdale. My Wills. Man, just Pirates. beautiful set. Don Manley. Yeah, that's a second Mattingly, yeah. I think, right? Yeah, it's different style. Mark Grace. Juan Marshall. Jim Palmer. You did a great job collecting it. Bill Mosarowski. Mark Grace was great. I loved Mark Grace's interviews during the 1998 home run race. Oh, yeah. And like, he'd be like talking, well, what about my home run? It, I, th <laughs> I think my home run went further. <laughs> <laughs> Another short print, Ted Williams. David Cole. This beautiful cards. Will Clark. Will the Thrill. Johnny Bench. Tom Seaver. Man, beautiful. George Brett. Zapella, Cardinal Fisk, another short print, Elsie Smith. Very nice. Joe Morgan. Man. Don Sutton. What's. Red Show and Dice. Shin <laughs> I think its name is uh, pronounced Shane Dinks. But another, I don't know. No one knows how to pronounce yeah. his name. Another Wilford. Oh, yeah, another that's Rangers. him. And, yeah. The other one was Giants. Hyman Killebrew. Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan, sweet Nolan Ryan from the yeah, Astros. That, that, that there. thing's like a two color Nolan Ryan. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful card. Rod Carew, Phil Nitro, another Carl Ripken, different one. Wow. Luke Brock. This was a mission. Andrew Dawson. There we go. Oh. Other random cards in here? Yeah, random cards. <laughs> All right, man, that's Unless beautiful. You. Jackie Robinson. Oh, oh, nice. That card is gorgeous. Yeah. Great video number 25. Very nice. nice. Just nice stuff. That's a lot. That's a great collection. This, from this box. <laughs> fun to look Yeah, at fun stuff. collection, yeah. man. Yeah. So, Jay, thanks so much for sharing it. It's, well, it was a great just, time. Sorry, man. Water. Well, seven <laughs> up. Seven up. Well, it was nice of you guys to come in. Yeah. And see my collection. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, like you were saying uh, earlier, you don't like, like, you don't know anybody that appreciates it. So, no. you're like sitting here. Just, Inter just, 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 just you and your car, it's <laughs> not with everybody else. <laughs> yeah. was great meeting you guys. Yeah. I've been wanting to you guys since last year. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's it's, so it's... good with technology. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I hear you, man. Uh, well, we're happy that we actually got to finally meet you and uh, see your collection. It's an awesome collection. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, that Venezuela yeah, collection is just ridiculous, dude. Uh, that 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 takes commitment to try to get every single one of one name. If you were if you could put that set together, that would be incredible. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just yeah. I hope you could find the rest of those cards. If anybody knows anybody that has those cards, let us know so yeah. we can help Jay. F Send us a message because we want to help him finish that. Yeah, definitely. I bet you Ricky Russo has one of those. <laughs> He's got all the one-on-ones. One-on-ones, all of them. Right on. All right.